Here's a handoff to Mostert running left. Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. Here's a second and five. They'll stay on the ground with Mostert. And they'll get this just to the 47. One yard gain. Third play in this opening drive as they're looking at a third and three. Up the middle they go with Mostert. And he's got the first down before being taken down at the 46. Seven yards there. Good enough to move the sticks. Faced with their first third down conversion opportunity and able to punch it through and pick it up on the ground. And to me, doing it on the ground sends a different type of a message than throwing the football. And, you know, let's face it, we've done a lot of games together. How often have we seen third down turn into an automatic passing down? The of the yeah, and last thing you want, that opening drive to go three and out. You got everything scripted, lined up. Let's get some points on the board. They're able to avoid that three and out. Second and ten. Now Tua. He'll let this go for the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Dolphins. Tyreek Hill. It's a good one, and the Dolphins get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and it's now a 7 0 game. Now, after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And he'll elect not to run with it. And a fair catch on the kickoff will move the ball to the 25. and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Oh, the first play of the game going to be intercepted. Brandon Jones picking it up. And they will finally get him, but not until he's all the way down inside the 15-yard line. And now, Charles, they're working with a short field, a chance to make this a two-score game, and these guys haven't even worked into a lather yet here in the first quarter. Yeah, how about that? You score, you take it away, get an excellent return, and now you've got a chance to go up two scores in this game. And oh, he took that in one-handed. What a grab. Short completion, just four yards, and it'll be second down. A run with Mostert up the middle. And from the nine, they get this to the five-yard line. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Two are looking to throw on third and two. Can get the feet down? Yes. Touchdown. Tyreek Hill with his second touchdown of this opening quarter. And the Dolphins lead this now 13-0 here in the opening quarter of the ball game. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And it's now 14-0. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And he'll elect not to run with it. The fair catch will move this out to the 25-yard line. The 
Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And they're in an early hole. The first drive, they threw the interception. That led to a touchdown. So, decent-sized deficit early on. It is, but I think you hit the key words, early on. So, they have to decide, do we even need to change game plan? Or do we just need to execute better and try and get back in this game? Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Well, nearly another interception there. That would have been two drives in a row with a pick. He's got to start taking care of the ball way better than what we're saying. Interestingly, that throw was probably worse than the one he threw the interception on last drive, but fell incomplete. Second down, here's Hertz. Oh, his early struggles continue. Here's another one in his <laughs> And he will be back. It's a pick six and a Dolphins touchdown. Charles, it is pretty rare that we see a team build this kind of lead in the opening quarter. And, man, they seem to be clicking on all three phases right there. The defense doing its part with a pick six. And it's absolutely been the definition of a start that you would pick for yourself and for your team, right? And I have a feeling that they just want to stay in this zone. What's truly incredible about this start is they can add on a couple more scores. This one could legitimately be over in the second quarter. So how about this for a start? 21-0 here in the first as they kick this one away. But no run back here. Fair catch, and this will come out to the 25. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores, and I know we're in the first half, but the way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse that this is an important possession, but I think this has to be the possession where they come up with an answer because only a few teams in league history have ever come back from a four-score deficit, and if they don't score here, that's what they could be facing the next time they get the ball. Hey, Silver, Silver, Silver. You all left. Hey. No, no. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. Oh, this is break with the bullets here. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you got to hit. He's wide open right there got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. Oh, come on. And his throw is going to be incomplete. <laughs> well, certainly appears that they're going to try to get him the football. It's the third time they've looked in his direction. Unfortunately, haven't completed one yet, but I'm not sure they're going to shy away from him. They feel like they've got something there, and they want to capitalize on it. I think you're right. We're only in the first quarter, so a lot of opportunities ahead. Throwing his hurts. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked up by Xavier Howard. Well, I'm not sure that the He's wheels are kind of completely off, but they're shaking a little bit. That's three interceptions, and now interceptions here on back-to-back -back drives. <laughs> and I think about what a Hall of Fame coach told me that he always told his teams, when a mistake happens, just move on to the next play. Let it go. Hard to do when you throw in this many interceptions. He's got it in. Are you fucking kidding me? And that is caught. Touchdown, Miami. Tyreek Hill doing it again with his third touchdown here in the opening quarter. And the Dolphins are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And it is 28 nothing. New York. So this not what we expected. It's in Miami. 8 nothing here in the first as another kickoff is away. Fair catch going to be taken, and this will be moved out to the 25. All right, I got to make this miraculous comeback. Yeah, man.
The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. They've got to be absolutely reeling right now. Couldn't have expected to be down this big this early, but that's the spot they're in as they come up to try again here. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. They're throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone, and there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. Hurts. Escaping the pressure right. His throw incomplete. Nice back to back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. Now Hurts looking to change the play. Silver, silver, silver. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Flushed out right. And that is incomplete. Now you know me, whether you need it or not, I'm going to give a little unsolicited advice. Just throw it downfield out of the pocket only if you're absolutely sure. Otherwise, use your running ability and try to get those yards a safer way. They'll try and throw for it with Hurts. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. A surprising move to go for it predictably, at least somewhat predictably. It doesn't pay off, and the Dolphins get the football in great field position. On first and ten, it's Mostert. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Tua sets up to pass it. He's got it. Touchdown, Dolphins. Tyreek Hill. What is going on here? Four first-quarter touchdowns. Unbelievable. And the Dolphins have taken a five-touchdown lead. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And that makes this 35 to nothing now. Damn, 35 in the first quarter. Right. So plenty of fireworks here early. 35 to nothing now as the kick is away. And he'll elect not to run with it. And a fair catch on the kickoff will move the ball to the 25. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. They find themselves in a good size hole here, in a good size hole early on in this game as they come up on first down. Now they'll change things up. But first down, Hurts. He's going deep for Brown. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. A big play there for Philly. And even 40 yards. Seems like all the fireworks in this first quarter have been on the other sideline. But here they're saying, hey, we've got some explosive guys on our side, too. I mean, that's a big play in a game that's looking like it might be full of big plays. 73, 73. 63, 63, 63. On first and ten, it's Hurts. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. Get out of here. Oh, it'll be intercepted. Oh, the throw, man. Picked off by Deshaun Elliott. And the Dolphins oh, throw, are going to get back here just shy of the 20. Well, they tried to take their shot right there, but the ball hung up a little too long, and it's intercepted. And when you describe trying to take their shot right there, usually the ball has to be thrown on a little bit more of a line. You just mentioned it. The ball hung up there. The reaction time. And that's caught inside the 30. Yeah. Yeah. And all the way in for a Miami 
Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. You're forgetting about your boy, Cheetah. And the Dolphins have taken a six touchdown lead. <laughs> Extra point up and good by Sanders. And the route is on here in this first half. <laughs> Oh, now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And he will elect not to run with it. A fair catch will move uh, this out to the 25-yard line. He's going to get 21 before the game over. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. Let me get 21 before the game over at least. In their previous drive, they threw the interception, Charles, after they had built up some momentum. They were moving the football. I just, I can't, man. I just not in my DNA. I know you want to, I know you want to. Yeah, Here we get you win, but I just is not in my DNA. Pretty well for this offense, gaining chunks of yardage, getting first downs, really making a push for the end zone, and look like they had a nice rhythm going. Now you got to have a short memory here. Don't focus on the interception. Focus on what came before it and get back to it. Hurts throw there, taken in by Smith. Uh oh. <laughs> Uh, shit. <laughs> it was the second quarter. He'll be at the in the first quarter, but yo, you getting your ass kicked, you need to stop. You need to let go, son. Quarter action from Philadelphia, and it's the Eagles in okay. possession as they've got it second and seven. <laughs> Here's Hertz to throw. Forced out to his left. Oh, come on. Incomplete. And their struggles uh. continue here. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And this effort will not get it done. He stopped well short of the first down at the 29. Yeah, I can see. They're going on fourth down with Hertz. Mom, oh, yeah, damn it. Uh, okay, so it's be, it's be interesting call there to go for it, and it'll be a turnover on downs. Yeah. On first down, tongue of Iloa, and now this is intercepted. My Damn. goodness, picked up by James Bradbury, and the Eagles right. will have the football. I'll tell you, we'll make this miraculous comeback, son. This Philly offense set to go. A kind of a lucky break on the prior drive, Charles. The turnover on downs that the offense had didn't come back to bite them after the other side. Their defense came through. There he goes, left side. A big change in field position there. That's 40 yards on the catch and run. And that might be exactly what they needed to wake up this home crowd. They haven't given them much to cheer for so far. And never underestimate the effect the home crowd with you can have on a game. Now this one to his tight end out on the right almost, side. Almost, son, almost. He'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard oh, line. From the 23, this is second and three. <laughs> He'll drop to throw. Get in there. That's him. There we go. Uh, you get a push touch, man. And the Eagles are able to at least get one score back. Now the scoreboard still does not look good, but at least they polished off that goose egg. Yeah, they've been thoroughly outplayed. Why is she doing this? Finally, a little spark of life, but it's going to take a lot more to add to that flame for them to thoroughly get back into this one. Oh my goodness. Elliot Good with a PAT. And they get a better respite here for what's been an otherwise dreadful first half of football. 
Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Dolphins take over first and 10. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. Ah. Looking to pass. Give me that. Oh, this is intercepted and tended for Hill. Picked up by James Bradbury. Tell you if everybody did miraculous comeback, son. So maybe some signs of Hey, if you can score 40 and one quarter, I can score 40 and one quarter. In this first half, but there coming through with a big play. And sometimes that one play is what you need. And it sounds overly simple, but this is a team that was close to being down and out before halftime. So to come back and return an interception for a touchdown, that's big. Yeah, maybe it can serve Charles if you're alluding to as a little bit of a for them. We'll see. Elliott good on the extra point. And that'll cut the lead down a bit to 28. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Oh, shit. And a nice return oh, sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And not the first time that they're coming back out off of a turnover, but the last one really hurt Charles with that pick six. And it feels like the whole team's in field. Yeah. That's caught inside yeah. the 20. Oh, my God. My God. Touchdown. I see the Tyreek Hill, 70 yards, and the Dolphins are able to add on to their first half lead. Sanders now to the extra point. And the route is on here in this first half. It's a little do. Jason Sanders is to kick off for Miami. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. But no run back here. Fair catch, and this will come out to the 25. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. Right now, Charles, it just feels like they're trying to keep pace. Right, they gotcha. did score the touchdown last time out, but they still trail by double digits here. We'll see if this offense is once again up to the task. Yeah, and I think that after the last drive, they've got to be pretty revved up, don't you think? Everything they were doing was working pretty well. They go back out there with the same mindset, play at the same tempo and the same pace. Still a lot of time left to make something happen in this one. He's got it. <laughs> Yeah, buddy. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Eagles are able to claw one back. That's Randy Watkins. Elliot on for the extra point. And that'll cut the lead down to 28. <laughs> that ain't gonna happen. <laughs> uh, you might get two more touchdowns. This is out of the back of the end zone, so we'll start the drive at the 25 on the touchback. The Dolphins at the line, ready for their next drive. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that, and this is caught at the 20. It's a big play there for Miami. 
61 yards. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Oh, shit. And he's brought down. 44 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they've moved the ball with relative ease. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. He was looking for Jalen Waddle there, but it'll be second and goal. Day chan. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. A second down play results in a loss of two yards. Third and goal as they look to pour some more salt in the wound. Here's Tua. Look how that shit. Dolphins will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Sanders on for the I give you one more. That's about it. And the route and that's it. Got at least at 35 for the game. Real good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Most definitely. <laughs> you did. Now after the touchdown, ready about to the score before half and about to score at the half. Fair catch, gonna be yeah, oh yeah, we'll go, we'll go question. Unless, let me see, let me see what's come out of here. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. An incomplete pass leads to second and ten from the 25. Looking to throw. Wide open is Watkins. He's got it. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts. As they'll stop Pretty much. <laughs> seconds to go in this first half. Pretty much. On first down, he'll drop to throw. And they finally get to him as he's taken down. Now the timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Hurts sets up to throw it. And that is incomplete. Hey. Two seconds left on the clock. Okay. Well, I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes as that throw arrived. Tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand. And that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. Well, you better watch watches. They'll throw now on the final play. And he's going to go down. Couldn't get a throw off with the pressure. Maybe that was for the best. <laughs> what is he doing? Let's see. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch <laughs> our breath. As we'll get you down to Coach Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Yeah, I'll be in the 40s Charles before you. Well, you are there. Yeah, I'll be in the 40s in about. The Eagles ready to see the football first in the, the trail quarter. here as we resume action in this third quarter. 
With a fair catch taken short of the goal line, and they'll begin this third quarter at their own 25. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And they have a mountainous deficit looming in front of them. It was really, Charles, a disaster of a first half. So where do they go from here? Well, first thing they have to remember is that what's done is done, and there's no going back. And now you have to play this drive by drive. Obviously, come back in this spot, pretty unlikely. But you still have to go out and take pride in your work and try and put something together here in the second half. Hey, Silver, Silver, Silver. From the 27, Hurts. He's got Watkins on the outline. And pass the 40 before he's out of bounds. It's a first down, his fourth catch of the game after having three in the first half. Now, come on, I ain't gonna do that. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> that flag accepted and it backs the offense up a little bit. The delay of game backs him up five, first and 15. Let's pick the end over, son. Instead, it's just a gain of 10. Looking to throw again on second down. Hurts. He finds his man complete. It's Watkins. 22 yards on the catch and run. A first down. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Okay, don't do it, man. Don't do it. I'm telling you now, don't do it. If, you, if you're going to do what I think you're going to do, don't do it. Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. Touchdown, son. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. He's going to fire one oh, deep over the middle. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Javon Holland. And the Dolphins are going to have it here just past the 25. So it was a drive that had real promise here to begin the third quarter, but ultimately derailed by the INT. And that was the position you okay. wanted to be in, coming out to start this third quarter, get a nice drive going, looking for the end zone. Possibly got a little bit too greedy right there. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. After the turnover, it's Tua. This one complete to Jalen Waddle. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. They fake the handoff. Now Tua. They're going deep for him. That's me. That's me. Oh, and Tua going to be intercepted for the third time. Picked up by James Brown. And the Eagles are going to have one yard line. Back to throw now in his own end zone. This is Smith. Almost. Almost, Ramsey. It's to the 30 when it's all said and done. Almost. So first and 10 now from the 30. First and 10 at the 30 yard line. Throwing his hurts. Oh, you about to get dealt, son. Oh, you about to get dealt. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yes, yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They're giving him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. Going deep here for Watkins. Oh, damn. Another interception. Picked up. No. No, no, uh, my bad, my bad, my bad. Remember that for touchdown. Absolutely unbelievable, isn't it? Hard to believe we're watching this and have seen it. 
but it just tells you about the game of football. It giveth and it taketh away. Yeah, the guys, though, that have thrown six interceptions in a game, Come the likes three. of Peyton Come Manning, three. Brett Favre, I think Joe Namath, he did it three times. Oh, oh. Now throwing here to start the drive as they connect left side. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. On play action, here's Tua. Getting this out to the flat, Mostert. That's good, the completion there for seven yards, and that'll make it second down. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. <laughs> Throwing now is Tugavailoa. That's Waddle. He's got the catch on the out route. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 18. Going to the air, Tugavailoa. Looking left side and he's got a man. That's Hill. Two are going to throw. Yeah. Tua fighting his old Alabama teammate, Jalen Waddle. And the Dolphins are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. Well, familiar refrain, a turnover leads to a touchdown, and that lead grows even wider now here in this third quarter. Yeah, partner, I'd say they're no, you're not touchdown, out on that sideline because, let's face it, they came in thinking they were in for a real fight in this game, but this one's been about as one-sided as we've seen in a while. In addition, if you're a backup, time to start stretching and loosening up. First quarter, first quarter. Time in this one. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. Where the fourth quarter will begin with a kickoff following the score on the final play of the third quarter. Sanders now to kick this one away. And he'll elect not to run with it. Oh, and a fair catch on the kickoff will move the ball to the 25. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because... They're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. Now the throw downfield is taken in by his running back. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. The two big plays right in succession as this one goes for 27. Well, a touchdown here on this drive, it, it wouldn't really put much of a dent in the score, the deficit right now. But as you've mentioned in the past, CD, their coach is probably just hoping to see something executed correctly on this drive before we close out the ball game. Yeah, and I think that every guy who's on the field has to feel exactly the same way because if not, they might be looking for replacements. Treat every drive as if it's your last and make it a successful one in some small way. But first down, it hurts. It's caught on the right side at Smith. It will be a gain of five, and it's second down. brings up second and five at the Dolphins' 21-yard line. Now Hurts going to shift him around a bit. I get these too much, I shall. To throw again on second down. Oh, and this throw incomplete. And the defender all over at that time, and it's going to lead to third down. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Here's Hurts to throw. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked up by Javon. <laughs> and the Dolphins are going to have it here as they'll start at their own 24 yard line. Yet another mistake after the interception. Hey, I'm surprised you're not. Oh, the way you practice it right now, bro. This one cannot get over fast enough. It certainly can't. And also, what happens when you get this big of a deficit? 
you're supposed to make all the right throws, right? You're supposed to try and obviously get the ball to your own guys. But being down this big, you also Ooh, take even more long. chances. And in this situation, that hasn't paid off for them at all. On the other sideline, jubilation and laughter. Oh. And got his man complete. Okay. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Two and now on first down. Ah. And it's incomplete. <laughs> Took a shot, couldn't connect. Sportsmanship handbook. There's something to be said for calling the dogs <laughs> in a blowout. But these defenders, they also know this is the NFL, and it's their job to stop them, whether they're in the game or they're down by a handful of touchdowns. There's so many right here, bro. Here's second and ten. Looking to pass to him. This one finds Wilson downfield. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. First target, first catch, and a first down. Well, there's absolutely been no stopping this offense today. They already have the big lead, obviously. Here in the fourth quarter, they could coast to the end, but right now they're not passing up any chances to put up some garbage time yardage. And, partner, why would they? Because who knows the next time you'll be playing as well as you have today. When you're in that zone, you go ahead and take full advantage of it. You don't worry about your opponent. You just worry about what you're doing. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice game there. This one goes for 20. Tell you what, partner, the way he's been slinging in this one, I think he should be ticketed for a baseball cap and a set of headphones for the next drive. He's been absolutely sensational. But one thing we both learned about quarterbacks in this league, they often stay on the field longer than you expect. And now an audible here into something else. Again, they will throw it with Tonga Bailoa. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Well, their passing attack, even though that one was incomplete, has been really sharp in this one. It's resulted in a lot of touchdowns, and it looks like they're not going to stop throwing the football until the very end of this one. Well, that will certainly make everyone involved on offense pretty happy because that gives them all a chance to pad their stats a bit. But as far as the actual need, you and I both know they can just run this clock out because this one, it was over a long time ago. Tua sets up to pass it. Oh, give me that. Come on. Looking in zone, but it's Damn, incomplete. Well, they're up comfortably here, Charles, but that lead certainly not dissuading them from pressing the envelope late. I mean, if anything, with these passes, it's like they're getting more aggressive to try to drive the ball downfield. And that will certainly lend itself to some post-game questions for that coach, and maybe you and I should attend that press conference and see what he has to say, because someone's going to ask him why he continued to push it. My guess? He didn't like how some of the snaps were run earlier. He wanted to use that as a chance to clean things up, but he certainly will have some explaining to do. And we are inside of two minutes left in this lopsided affair. And they're going to go for this thing. They're not going to leave anything to chance. They're going to roll the dice on fourth and goal. They'll try it now with Mostert. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. <laughs> Damn. Mm -hmm. Sanders now to add the extra point. Now this one was over yeah, your man defense is playing kind of real tight. I said your man defense from jump was playing real tight at first. That's only only reason I scored because you went into zone and shit. Yeah, the touchdown apparently wasn't oh, enough. Bad. They're going to go for the onside <laughs> kick here. And the Eagles dodge a ball and Come on, they man. cover it up. Yeah. Uh, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And okay. I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, 
the team expecting it. They do actually recover right. the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Hey, Silver, Silver, Silver. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Well, we've talked about it, CD, but it bears repeating. They are struggling to throw the football. All the interceptions and more incompletions. It just doesn't look like things are in sync out there. I would agree with that, and it's not a good day when you can make an incomplete pass. It's almost a win for you because it wasn't intercepted. I'm going to touch him. I ain't worried about that. When they're running their routes, they want to catch the ball. But you're gonna touch him enough to be regardless. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. Eluding the pressure right. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off by Jalen Ramsey. <laughs> Here's anybody yet? Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> at the one yard line well partner i i gotta tell you i'm trying to think of something positive to say for this offense but i'd have to be a spin doctor for that one this has been a tough performance to watch and i think it's hard at this point and he will get into the end zone it's another touchdown this thing is ugly <laughs> And this one was over a while ago. They just add on to their big lead. Nah, anybody here? And a touchdown. Apparently not enough. They want more. An onside kick. And the Eagles hands team able to cover it up. The risk reward of the yeah, other. At least when you get I'm about to get, get it, the risk I'm, comes out to play and here they like gave that. up great field position. And that's the key to everything because you're trying your best to press advantages when you have them. And field position leads you to that type of play calling. And whether you want to blitz or whether you want to throw the ball deep, those types of things, now that they've given up that type of field position, the advantage is switched to their opponent. On first and ten, it's Hurts. Damn, he takes Taylor. a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability to. Uh, Darren Bliss, do your thing. Do your thing. Don't stop. Don't stop. Do your thing. Do whatever you got to do. Seven catches for him now in this last one, a first down. Now this is certainly one of the bigger losses that we are going to see for quite some time. And you have to think at this point where we're at in the fourth quarter with how wide this advantage is. For this offense, they're just trying to end things with a positive drive and then get the heck out of here. Yeah, if this had been a counter, you would have heard plenty of sound. <laughs> I, I tried to. But they certainly don't want to end it on one. They want to put together a few more throws like that and at least have a final <laughs> drive to give them a little bit more hope as they move forward. Hurts. Flush to his right. And he just chucked that one out of bounds out of everyone's reach. Maybe a wise call not to take a sack in this part of the field. It brings up third down. They got beat like a dog, if anything. Hurt sets up to throw it. Escaping the pressure right. Ah. And now here is another interception. Picked up by Javon. <sighs> and the Dolphins are going to take possession here. At Yo, so the key is to put um, put your cornerbacks in safeties or whatever, in linebackers. That they should get out of here with a victory. Yeah, this is not a game that they're going to preserve for posterity on defense. But they did finish it off, didn't they? They did make the winning play to close things out. They'll take that one and head to the locker room. The no. Dolphins so the what now? Ready for their next drive. Well, they came into this one with a vision, Charles, and it has played out exactly as they had hoped, if not even better. They've got the huge lead here, and now the football 
for the final moments of the fourth. Yeah, and it was apparent that they were the better team, right? We figured that out pretty early. But give them a lot of credit for staying with it. They didn't stumble around out there. They didn't create a lot of errors for themselves because they were the superior team. They took care of business and closed them out pretty quickly. Okay, I got Smith and I put... Okay, I hit linebacker, but only thing that... Uh, you said you might substitute him, right? That's it. All right, bro. Still throwing to the very end, but now this game is over.